It's your boy Perplexity. We're going to take a view. how y'all feeling today. Happy Saturday, y'all. Let me step up and get a little closer to the camera, man, so y'all feel what I'm about to bring to you. Listen, man. You guys already heard that it's been an allegiance. It's been a contract bonding with Microsoft and one of my favorite gaming companies ever, Sega. Now, they didn't really clarify too much on what's going to be the alliance. What are they going to push out? Is it going to be games? Is it going to be a game console? Is it going to be, you know, some exclusives coming strictly to Xbox platforms? I mean, what is it going to be? Now, according to Video Game Chronicles, this was yesterday. Sega gave an update, a clarification on what exactly this strategic bonding is going to be. So, they're saying that, you know, they're not going to have exclusives strictly for Xbox or strictly for Microsoft platforms. However, they are going to be working together with Microsoft as far as, you know, outputting some of their games and giving them gaming ideas and, and so forth and so on. Also, they have a multi-million dollar gaming project. They call this a Super Game Ambitions project. And this is worth, according to the source, 100 billion yen. That's roughly $882 million American dollars, USD, baby. That's not, what, what, that's a mega project, according to what they're saying. That's not some video game. Video games don't cost that much to develop. That's almost a billion dollars. That don't, it don't cost that much. I think it's going to be a console. I know, man, this is, hey, this is, this is Cerebral Cortex Reviews. You know, I'm trying to be cerebral with it. We got to just put our minds together and just think about it for a second. Loosen up the tie for a minute. Why would a video game with a major company such as Microsoft, one of the top 10 companies in the world, why would you be working on a mega project with them on a game? It, it, follow me. The game wouldn't be almost a billion dollars. I think they're going to be working on the console. Another reason I'm saying that is because before the Xbox One X came out, the One X, matter of fact, I'm going to change that. The Series X, it was more recent than that. The Series X, before that came out, they were talking about, it was rumors saying that Microsoft was going to ship a different version of the Series X in Japan. And it was going to have the Sega branding on it. Because everybody knows that since Microsoft started making consoles back in 2001, they've been trying to get a footing in the Asian continent, preferably Japan. And in order to do that, you need a big company supporting you or you need to acquire a big company over there, such as Sony, Nintendo, or Sega. And Microsoft always had ties with Sega. In fact, Sega helped develop the original Xbox. And you guys may... Listen, man. I'm a game historian, man. I know this stuff, man. Look it up. You think I'm lying? Look it up. So that's all the more reason for me to believe that, okay, they have a partnership going, working on a console. Is it going to be a mobile console? Is it going to be a, a you know, a standard uh, plug and play console? You know, what is it going to be? It's not going to be no arcade. Microsoft is a smart company. You ain't going to BS with them. You ain't going to do no arcades or nothing like that, man. They're going to they gonna want to work on something big. And I got a feeling that they're gonna try to, they're gonna probably do that thing they were talking about before they came out with the Series X, that rebranding of the Series X in Japan and make it like a, a Sega Series X. Ooh, that got a good ring to it. Ooh, that got a good ring to it. But this is all speculation right now. But I'm glad Nintendo clarified. I mean, not Nintendo. I'm glad Sega clarified today or yesterday, so to speak, that they're not going to be just having exclusive games. And it's, they're, not, they're not even really talking about games. They're talking about a mega project, a mega gaming project, super game ambitions over the next five years. That's that also sounds like the lifestyle, the lifetime of a console. <sighs> super Core Tech Reviews. Happy Saturday. I love you guys. Peace.